You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, I lost them. Oh, okay, I'm going to try. They <laughs> like this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Took my hood off, looked pretty and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you're listening. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Saw my ugly beat. Coming up. On today's show, Bob is fishing at Lac des Iles Lodge just outside Bay Como in Quebec for a brook trout with his sister in law, Jocelyn Azumi. Fifteen years ago, Jay hosted her own fishing show called Jay à la Pêche, which aired in Quebec for two seasons on RDF, the French version of TSN. Jocelyn has also been a guest on The Real Fishing Show a number of times, and who can forget the infamous carp with no tail show? Stay tuned for lots of laughs and some unbelievable brook trout fishing. Got beautiful colors. Here comes. Can you oh. see the size of Could be a world record. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, dude. man. Way to find that one. Oh, there you got him. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. That is a monster. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Woohoo-wee. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. oh I got one. A Slavosaurus. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Man, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. A good one. Whoa. Here he comes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. This is what? Don't do this. This is all up all right. 16 pounds. Now look at this. Real Fishing is sponsored by Chevy Trucks, Ontario, More to Discover, and Tim Hortons. Hey folks, that's what I call Real Fishing. Lac de Zio Lodge is located about one hour outside of the city of Bay Como, Quebec, and has exclusive rights to 70 square kilometers of private property for hunting and fishing. With over 1,100 hectares of surface area to fish on Lac de Zio alone, it is truly a fishing paradise. When we arrived in Bay Como, I had an opportunity to have an interview about fishing in Quebec, the local news station. Then it was straight to the lodge to get all rigged up. I was sure this was going to be a fishing trip to remember. Well, a little damp out this morning, but not bad. We're talking about, we're just outside of Bay Como, Quebec, and I'm here with my sister-in-law, Jocelyn Azumi. Jocelyn, what do you think of this place? I love this place, uh, at Lac des Iles, and uh, the lodge is awesome. Well, this is one first-class outfitter here. We're talking brook trout here, folks, either with spinning tackle and hardware or flies, you can do it both here. And they have a 20 fish per person limit here. I don't think anybody would complain. <laughs> no, the fishing's good. It's rained a little bit. So yesterday, one of the fellows from our group got out. We were still waiting for our baggage. He got out and he caught a whole pile of trout, both on hardware and on flies. We had to go back, though, because a major airline here in Canada, I can't mention the name, lost our baggage. So I didn't have any tackle or uh, clean clothes. So I was kind of, you know, roughing it a bit, Jay. Yeah, but I really want you to uh, be comfortable today, Bob. So, uh, and you're getting a little older, you know, and we have to, uh, we're on a tight schedule today. <laughs> we have to be on the water for a long time. So I brought you a little something special. Oh. Uh, some disposable underwear. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Just to make sure there's no accident today. Oh, so we don't have to even take a break. Once we get fishing today, we can just keep fishing. But uh, it's kind of spitting out. So maybe yeah. with this head of mine, I'll just put one right here. Sure, that will work. Yeah. <laughs> <For a start. laughs> I'm so scared. Hey, folks, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get set up and go fishing. What Good do you idea. Think? They told me that the fishing is so good up here that you can even catch brook trout off the dock. So we had to give it a try for ourselves. Brook trout off the dock? How good is that? Oh yeah, look at this trout here. Nice. Whoa, baby. Nice size. All right, they're going <laughs> crazy. Very healthy, eh? <laughs> oh, and our guide is here with the net. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, we haven't even made it off the dock yet. We're just heading out. We had to throw a few casts, and uh, I've got a little O on, which is an old crankbait that's been around forever from Cotton Cordell, and it is a fish catch and lure. And it's a fire tiger pattern. 
And we're going to keep this fish, I guess? What do you think? Yeah, we'll keep this fish. You can keep 20 a day up here, which is shows you the uh, type of fishery it is. They say that they almost think there's too many in here. It's, uh, it's just infested with them. And here's the bait. It's just a little cotton cordell, little O. And the reel here, I've got four-pound test line, super silver thread. And this is on a, on a Stella 1000 reel. Now, this rod's a new rod. It's for drop shotting. It's a crucial rod. Very light in the tip, Jay. This thing here right. has got a very soft tip. See how that tip bends? Oh, yeah. For drop shotting, which is a technique we use uh, for deep water bass fishing, a lot of our tournaments. But I thought it'd be a good light line rod for throwing this little crankbait. Why don't well, well, we go in the boat? What so do you far, think? so good, yes. Okay, hey. Let's Sounds go. good to me. Let's go. I'm going to pack up and we'll head out in the boat. Okay. When we return, Bob and Jay go after some lactazeal brook trout and try to shake the paparazzi. Oh, oh, there we go, Jay. You know we're doing well. We even have the paparazzi in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Chevrolet. When you're the number one selling brand in Canada, you rock the nation. With more power, more fuel efficiency, more dependability and more utility. Plus, get the Silverado Special Edition crew. Now with $1,000 worth of extras on us. The Rock the Nation event is back and rocking. Coleman promised. Coleman promised to light my way. Coleman has been making reliable lanterns for over 100 years. Coleman promised me shelter from the storm. Only Coleman makes tents with a weather tech system to keep you dry, guaranteed. Coleman promised to get me through the night. The double lock valve guarantees our bed won't leak. Coleman promised to keep things cool. The extreme cooler that keeps ice for five days in temperatures up to 32 degrees Celsius. That's cool. Coleman promise. At Coleman, we keep our promises for the past 100 years and the next. Uh, Lactazil is very special to me. It's so rich in history. It was founded in 1955 by Colonel Robert McCormick. He was uh, one of the founding fathers of the Chicago Tribune, and he was also the founder of the city closest to this lodge, uh, Baycomo. We have 42 square miles or 70 square acres of absolute paradise. It's a fishing paradise for the novice fishermen, for the expert. We have it all. For many years, for the local people, this was known as a gentleman's private fishing club. Not too many people pass through here. Uh, executives had uh, special guests and suppliers up here to appreciate the abundance of fishing and to appreciate the wilderness and the fine dining within our lodge. The lodge still serves up five-star cooking from Chef Fred Moreau and their hotel-like cabins are beautiful. With a private washroom, a comfortable bed, and a view like no other, it's hard to leave. But most importantly, the wilderness is still untouched and the fishing is hotter than ever. Let's head back out to Jay and I spinning for those brookies. Bobby, you're different, please. Oh, they're, they're radioing us. They're wondering how we're doing, Jay. Oh, we're doing good, eh? Here we go. Nice little guy. All right. Freedom. Oh, oh. there we go, Jay. Hey, a little... Woo! <laughs> Un petit poisson. <laughs> Small fish, Bob. Well, to start, I just lost one, Jay, on this jointed uh, grappler shab, but I know. you're using a little rattle bait there, a super right. spot. It's always one, been one of my favorites, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Such a fish catcher, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the rattling is helping a lot. How do you like my nephew's creativity, Bob? Well, you know, Frederick is a professional photographer from Quebec City. And I guess he doesn't want to get his digital cameras wet, so <laughs> he's created quite a uh, photo box there. It works, eh? An alien. <laughs> Pretty fancy. Yeah. I'll tell you, he didn't spare the expenses on that custom box. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, Jay? I think so. Oh, I just missed one. Oh, I missed him again. Tiny one, but it's healthy. <laughs> I've got one too, Jay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. A small one? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. Mine might be a little bigger than yours. 
Not sure? Well, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> proof. I want proof. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll ask the guide who's is bigger, okay? Then we're... Whoa, Jay! <laughs> The tank is bigger than Okay, who, whose fish is bigger, Ben? Yours. Mine, see? Aww. I got the bigger one here. Let me hold them up there. Yeah, but mine's nicer. Since we're keeping this fish, I'll just hold them by the gills here, which I normally wouldn't do. All right. A little rocket shad brook trout right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful colors, too, Jay. Look at that. I know. It'd be even better if it was sunny. Yeah, we got a pretty dull day, but hey, the fishing's bright. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. So, I caught mine on the, the yeah. float inlay. Yeah. Yeah, we better keep those two, obviously. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a little in-spin elite. It's made by Straight King. It's a spinner that's uh, got the keel on it, so it's a weighted spinner, very heavy spinner. Get good casts with it. Right. And I'm using a, it's a Straight King rocket shot, and it's a, small spinner bait kind of got the best of both worlds happening today the whole idea is lots of flash for these brookies they they want flash that's what attracts them uh -huh. a little bit of flash a little bit of vibration and we got ourselves a double header let's go stay tuned we'll be right back after this look at this he's mopping the deck he brought his own mop with him ben you are the mr clean of fishing guides <laughs> Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View. Sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Of all the species of trout, brookies are considered the easiest to catch. Also known as speckles, we have to agree they're bent on suicide in rivers and streams. In lakes, however, they're a true enigma as one of the most challenging fish in the swim. Early winter means consistent ice fishing on brook trout lakes. Then it's several months of slim pickings. This is followed by two days of incredible action as the last vestiges of ice melt away. After that, everything tapers off. By late spring through to autumn, many trout lakes appear devoid of fish altogether. It's as if those big brookies only feed a few days out of a year. Actually, during open water periods, that may very well be true. One thing is certain, barometric pressure plays a significant role in brook trout behavior cold fronts and low pressure systems shut the fish down for long periods of time. They can be seen lying belly to bottom. Indeed, they act more like largemouth bass, where extended periods of high pressure increase activity. Then throw in a thunderstorm and they go crazy, although you'd have to be crazy to be out there. In our experience, they prefer the same baits as bass. Wherever you find brookies, soft plastics and crankbaits really produce. All you have to do is keep an educated eye on the barometer and only head out on those very few perfect days. I've got a question to ask on those diapers. Yeah. Are they for a number one and a two? I think you a choice. Yeah. Uh, is that You're right? pretty free on that Oh, one. okay. Yeah. Well, hey, folks, stay I'm tuned. Gonna, I'm going to do my Mr. Clinton. I'm going to try them out. <laughs> when you return, we'll see you after that. <laughs> There's something new at the top of the food chain. The world's first supercharged four-stroke upboard and the only power system of its kind anywhere. The revolutionary Mercury Verado. From full shot to top end, it delivers unmatched power and acceleration, all in the quietest outboard ever built. See why all other outboards are history. Mercury Verado. Take charge. Bomber. Having to talk to uh, some guests that have been here year after year, uh, they all use uh, the phrase that it, it really is a diamond in the rough. It's a real jewel. It's uh, something that's extremely well hidden because there's not too many people that come through here. And the people that do come through here uh, are extremely overjoyed by the fact that they can find something this intimate, something as isolated yet with all the amenities that other lodges do. But on top of that, our fishing is just fantastic, simply fantastic. There we go. 
You know, Bob? Yeah, off that beaver dam in there. Good old beaver dams. <laughs> they hold fish no matter where you go. Staying down there, I'll tell you. All right. Good one. Yeah, there. That's a nice brookie, eh, Jay? Feels good. I think we're getting some pretty good action for only being out here for about an hour, aren't right. we? Look at that. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. With brook trout, uh, they don't seem to be affected by the weather, Bob. Or? Did you put an S on the end of that? Brook, brook trout? Trout. Oh, yeah. They don't... Uh, <laughs> <It's a pressure. laughs> oh, you know what? They are very fickle. One thing about brook trout, when, they, when they're hitting... They'll hit with abandon. When they're not, they can be very tough to catch. Right. But I thought this cold front would have affected them. But mm -hmm. either there's that many brook trout here or they're turned on. But I think it's a combination of both right now. All right. <laughs> Stop. Good. You got one? Wait. All right. Take your time, Jay. Take your time. I'm excited. Play, you're, you're horsing them. This isn't like tournament bass fishing. Ooh, Whoa. that's a good sign. Whoa. Hold your rod out there, away from the boat. All right. Oh, nice, nice one, Jay. Yeah. Nice good nice one. Time. All right. Very good. Oh, look at that. Fell off in the nut. Let's have a look, Jay. And so since this one's not... Too banged up, Jay. In uh -huh. fact, it's in really good shape. Right. We'll just have a look at it and put it back. What okay. do you think? Look Sounds at that. Good. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that something? Beautiful colors. Good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I think I got the biggest one so okay. far. Okay, well, you got the biggest <laughs> one so far. You have more than me. <laughs> well, I think it's time to go in for lunch. So, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more real. Where are we at? Like they do. Brook trout fishing after this. <laughs> This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. I'm here with my buddy Annika, and she's president of Grand Forest Brooks, and you're the distributors here in Canada for Claro Friday, and it's a wonderful clothing line that I'll tell you I need during those colder months, but that's not all it's good for, is it? No, our mid layers and base layers are really great for regulating body temperature, and so even in the early spring days of fishing or fall days of fishing it's great stuff to wear because it will keep you warm even when it gets wet so if you you stick your hand down there to get the fish out and the sleeve gets wet you're not going to end up with a cold arm or cold body well you know for years we've talked about layering up now you're talking about different weights 200 400 various weights for different climates different conditions right Definitely different conditions. Um, the 200 is something that should always be worn right next to the body. Mm -hmm. It's going to help wick away the perspiration from your body. So even on warmer days, I'm going to keep nice and comfortable and cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a 400 layer and a 600 layer, which is more of a mid layer. And you can add that on when it gets a little colder. And then if you just add a windbreaker, you're good to go. Well, I'll tell you, there's nothing like being comfortable when you're out in the outdoors. And speaking of the outdoors, it's a nice day. Maybe we should go fishing. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Let's go. More rainy weather brook trout and a trip back in time. After Bob has a bite to eat, up in Bay Como, Quebec, right after this. Oh, good one. All right. Yeah. Jay, that's nice a fish. Trout. There is a place where people still care about real quality and innovation. Where ideas aren't limited to an eight-hour clock. Performance is measured by your total satisfaction, and attention to detail is a celebrated way of life. Welcome to the Ranger family. Real people, real commitments, and boats that are literally legendary.
I'm Bob Azumi. After a day fishing, there's nothing like spending time enjoying a beautiful summer evening with my family and friends. And I won't let mosquitoes stop us from enjoying the fun. That's why I trust New Off Mosquito Lamp. The Off Mosquito Lamp uses a unique heat-activated pad that kills mosquitoes on an average-sized patio. I've always trusted Off to protect me when I'm fishing. Now Off gives me the protection I need for outdoor entertaining, too. Off is effective protection you can trust. You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Most people miss out on some pretty good fishing opportunities when it's raining. You'd be surprised if you just threw on some rain gear and headed out. As long as there's no lightning or heavy winds, you've got a good chance of having the whole lake or river to yourself, not to mention some excellent fishing. There we go. Oh, good. Come on, baby. All right. Yeah. Mr. Brook Trout. Well, it's just lightly spitting. Welcome back, folks. Here we are. I like the veal. You speak French, Bob. That's oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Fishing some Brook Trout. Ben's got the net ready already here. Whoa, good one. All right. Yeah. That's a nice sight. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of wind today. It's overcast. It's been raining the better part of the day. But, you know, it's such a great place to fish. Unseasonably weird weather, Jay. Yes, that's what the uh, owner said, too, right? But these trout don't seem to be affected. No. No, active. I am. Very active. They're hitting hard. And the one thing about it, if, if you like to brook trout fish and you're looking for a place that is easy fishing and if you want to learn how to fly fish or you're an expert fly fisherman this is a great place to come because you catch them so many different ways right you know that's what makes it exciting yeah, yeah. Good one, Jay. Look at that baby. All right. Nice. <laughs> Good one. Hey, yeah, I was up in the I was, logs. I was doing, Bob. Up in the logs. Had been slowing down for a while. Why don't you hold that and let Freddie get a nice photo of you? Okay. Hold that, Jay. That's just got beautiful colorings. That's I know. All right. I loved it. That. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. On a rocket shot. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I got my gloves all nice and slimed up. You can wash them over there. Thank you. Can I wait till later? <laughs> <laughs> Go nice oh. one. Whoa, baby. That's nice. Come on, baby. Look at this. Look at that. All oh, right. Yeah, that's good fish. You know, Jay, I cast right up on that shallow, shallow water there. Uh huh. Look at that fish. They are so pretty. Come on in here, baby. All right. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate right, it. Right by the drop-off, though? Yeah, I cast up shallow and brought it down over the drop-off right. and it hit. That worked. Oh, he's off. He is off. Now, you know, we've kept a lot of fish today. When I say a lot, the limit here, we haven't kept that many uh, compared to what the limit is, is 20 per person. And uh, they let you take them home. They give you a soft cooler with an ice pack. And I think, Jay, it's a great way of uh, letting people take home some brookies. You can take them home right. smoked, yeah. which have their own smoker there, or, you know, fresh. Fresh, yeah. You know, and I promoted Catch and Release now for 22 years or so, 21 years on TV. And, yeah. and to come to a place like this where they actually promote you to keep, you know, keep some fish because they feel that there are so many fish up here that they can afford to keep a bunch right. because they, they, they think that maybe it's just a... They think it might... Uh, be overpopulated. Uh, yeah. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Good it's thing. a good thing. But, you know, to give you a soft cooler full of trout when you leave, if you so like, I mean, you got to love it. And, That's for uh, sure. Here, I'll show you. This is a pretty decent looking little fish here. 
that's such a, a good sized little brook trout there. And, sure uh, is. You know, good pan size. Right. Fact is that uh, that's going to taste very well when I get back to Ontario. Morning, though. Yeah, but I'm only home for like a few hours before I head up to North Bay. Uh, oh, I'm sure you'll manage to get a little treat in <laughs> before you leave again. Oh, food is high on my priority. Yeah, <laughs> you find time All for right. that. Well, we'll put this one in the creel, and uh, I'd shake your hand, but I'm all no, lined up. <laughs> and what do you think of this place? I love it. Yeah. It really uh, brings back memories because uh, I fished in Quebec quite a bit when I was doing the Jay La Pêche show in the early 90s. Bonjour, je suis Jocelyne. Je m'attends de Jay La Pêche. Yeah, for two years you did that show. It was on mm. RDS, Sports Network out of Montreal. Yep. And do you miss not doing that show? I do miss it because yeah. I, I really got to know my country too, my, my area, the Quebec area, the Montreal, Magog. Well, it was uh, the number one fishing show in Quebec while it was running and here you are now. Yeah. Still a young woman? Well, relatively. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, it's relative. <laughs> we'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> My drag? Yeah, you're snagged. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what the? My candy didn't do very good. <laughs> what the? <laughs> the guides really look after you here. Yeah, good looking too. Oh, they're good looking guys. Yeah. Is that important for catching fish? Well, it helps. Every little bit helps. <laughs> Every little bit helps. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to eat fish. You coming, Jimmy? I'm coming with you, mate. Okay. <laughs> That is a fish of a lifetime. Whoa! <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah! Wow. That was too cool. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes!